Hello everyone, welcome to the video. My name is Kozilix and today I'm going to be showing you sword combos. So which combos are true, which ones you should learn, when to use them, etc. Basically how to play a sword, but I'm going to be going in depth on which combos are true and which ones you should prioritize and for which situations. So right now I'm just going to put him in the middle. Yeah, he's already in the middle basically. Let me show you a list of a bunch of true combos. We'll start with the most basic one. So down light side air is a true combo at literally any health. Cause yeah. <laughs> down light has no variable force, it's only fixed. So no matter what the down light is, he will always go in the same position. This is unlike almost every combo starter in the game because if I switch to like sword, even lance side light has some variable force. Sword is one of the only combo starters where it has nothing so it will always be the same. So if I did that he's gonna die every, or that combo is gonna work at any health. The most basic one is down light side air. It may take a couple tries but it's relatively easy. You're gonna want to start your side air as you jump not like jump then side air it's more at the same time i think you jump a tiny bit before to register that input like right before but it's relatively the same if you tap up with w it might be a bit harder so i would definitely change jumping to space if you're on keyboard for me on controller i don't use tap up to jump so this is a very easy combo so the next basic combo oh the when you should use down lights there is when they're in low health so I would say a range of around 150 and you are like next to the edge or something like that so if I anyways if you're like next to the edge I would advise to use down light Sarah. Um the reason why you shouldn't always be using it is because other moves are gonna kill sooner if you're in the middle of the stage for example down light recovery will actually kill sooner it also depends on the map, so a map with very small walls will downlight Seer, will kill a lot faster. That's gonna kill at 180. That kills, that doesn't kill at 180, right? And this is a bit to the left, but if you're on the side, you're always gonna use downlight Seer, right? Cause that, that will kill. So downlight Seer, you can always use it if you aren't comfortable with the other combos. So use whatever combos you're comfortable with, but when you get into diamond gameplay and everyone starts to know every single combo in the game then uh down light sair is gonna start to be inefficient next combo is down light recovery as you saw earlier so down light recovery is basically only used to kill or as a follow-up when you're gcing it can be a bit hard to down get like down light sair depending on where you pick up the gc but you don't actually need to jump with the recovery so it makes it the most consistent combo when landing down light because sometimes down lights can drop and things like that but it, you can always get it true no matter where you pick them up far or close it's always going to pick it up so if you ever need to do something like that use a recovery usually i'd use a recovery if you land a gc down light or down light sarah if it's on the edge but it's definitely used to kill when you're in the middle of the stage and it kills, I think, a bit sooner, a lot sooner actually than Downlight Sair, and it's going to be your kill option in the middle or on any soft platform because the ceiling is going to be closer. So the next combo is going to be at early health, zero. What you should be doing, because this isn't actually a kill option, but it leads into the most amount of damage, is Downlight Down Air. This can be very hard to land. I used to always hold down when doing it, and if you do that, you're not going to actually get it true. Um, uh, if you're only holding down, it can be super hard to get true from places like far away. If you see that was four dodge frames, it's going to be less consistent. So the trick in getting this true is you need to hold diagonally down while doing the dare and jumping. You're always holding in that same direction. It's the same on keyboard. It's just I'm not very good at it and I've got tap up to jump. So you hold S and D instead of just S when jumping and doing the downer. That was one dodge frame. There we go. Right, and I'm on keyboard right now. So you're always going to want to hold it diagonally downwards rather than just straight downwards. 
because straight downwards you're never gonna get it true, especially when it's like far away. Because downlight can pick up differently depending on where the first hit is, as you'll see in another combo I'm gonna do later. But the reason why you should use downlight, oh, downlight there over downlight there is because downlight there can lead into a lot of follow-ups, especially at later health. That is only two dodge frames. And most of the time they won't dodge out of it. And some of the time you can land another downlight. So it'd be like downlight there, downlight recovery, and even a nair follow-up. You'll see that a lot. And a lot of people do fall for it. It's a lot of dodge frames, but often players won't dodge and they'll try and attack right away. There's six dodge frames. But you can always go for a side air. You can always go for an end light. And light is usually the lowest, one of the lowest dodge frames. You can also go for like a Nair. It just leaves like many follow-up opportunities, especially at later health as you get into the orange. Downlight can even be like a setup for a kill option, like downlight day recovery. That used to be a true option. I think it's still true, but I don't know. I haven't been able to get it true recently. It can set you up in like a lot of combos. That's two dodge frames. The point is, you can get a lot of damage with downlight stair follow-ups. Some are dependent on the health, so be careful on which one you use. Most consistent ones seem to be like recovery and uh, maybe nair. Uh, you could toy around with it yourself if you want, but um, uh, the follow-ups can be risky. So just if you realize which way they're dodging and things like that, then you can get a lot of them very easily. Like sometimes you'll see people dodge in, so you want to like use signatures if you're concerned to catch that. And I think Enlight has the lowest dodge frame follow-up. So that's definitely how you're going to rack up damage on Sword. Next are some true combos that aren't inefficient but not always the best option this one is the best option but it's very hard to tell when it works it's down like ground pound and the reason why it's the best option is it's a three hit true combo so if you can get down like ground pound it's pretty hard to get consistent that's a true combo so down like ground pound and light it's just the problem with it is you can land it always but you're gonna have to travel and then use the ground pound but if you pick it up close to stacked then it's much easier to land the ground pound it's still very hard right so if you manage to land the ground pound that's a lot of damage noel used to use that a lot but it can be very hard like that's two dodge rings right there and a lot of the times you will miss so you can practice that if you want, but I would just go with downlight there because it may not have the three hit true combo, but it is a lot easier to land. Uh, another true combo would be downlight and air, the other jump. So you can use this to kill. I don't think it will kill as soon as recovery, but it still kills up round 180, I believe. It's not going to kill the same as recovery because recovery will bring you more upwards. It's around, what is that, 20 damage? 30 damage? Yeah, 30 damage past recovery. But it also always works. It's like it's consistent, but you won't get as many follow ups as down like there. But it's still a true combo, nonetheless. Other combos on sword. I'm just trying to think of down light combos. I think that's really it out of sword down light. There's so many combos and the goal should be landing down lights, but it's also a very risky move and has a lot of stun frames. So you're not gonna wanna throw it out too much, but use it whenever you're trying to punish. Um, if you're a neutral game, a good option would be side light and light. Uh, this really only works at like zero, zero health and I don't think it's true anymore. That's two dodge frames. If you throw in a dash, you can get to four dodge frames and you can get pretty consistently. But if you want to get it two dodge frames, then you have to pick it up. It's kind of a hard pickup. So depending on the pickup, you can you don't need to dodge. But a lot of the time you will need to dodge just to get there, especially as they start to go into later health. Stop jumping, please. 
Right, and it, it will work. Um, if you want to get the side light follow-ups, then that's probably your safest option. But it's still not very true, so it can be kind of hard. Um, side light is a very good move, though, to win neutral with. You can get a bit more distance by doing, and it's harder to punish, by doing, like, GC side light. And you can throw out a bigger range of where it can hit. They can pick you up both grounded and um, uh, in the air by doing a GC side light. And same rules apply, so like you can still get that end light follow up, but it will be like it's not true. So don't always go for it, but if it works, it works, right? So those are the sword combos. If you want to get better at sword, you need to learn all of them, um, uh, and especially the ones I taught you, because those are the ones you're going to want to use the most. And a lot of them are situational, so learn when to use them. And once you get them all consistently, then start working on your gameplay try and land down light more but don't throw it out too much to get punished if you want to watch some good sword gameplay remy is really good noel and boomy all have great swords so watch some of their gameplay i have a sword that can compete but not as good as my lance i hope you learned something from this video if you did hit that like button subscribe share the video and join the discord link is down below thank you so much for watching and have a good day peace but so what if I drank too much? This ain't love, it's just a fire fight. And even if it's not enough, I'll say it once. I swear I never lie. But this is the last time.